Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. I curled my hair today, like honestly I'm almost never doing that. But today I was feeling like doing something different and not only on my hair but also on my eyes. Why? I'm out of focus back in focus. I haven't posted more colorful look on my YouTube channel for a while now, so I decided that, okay, let's play with some colors. I always find myself involving more colors into the looks that I'm creating in the spring and in the summer. I just feel like the spring and the summer are so happy seasons. Anyways, let's go ahead now and move on to a tutorial on this look because I've been talking for way too long. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so I'm starting off with my foundation on. I used the Misha Magic Cover Cushion Foundation. I used this for the first time in the video where I I was trying out some Asian products and I loved how it made my skin look. This is a little bit too dark for me. I used the shade 23, but I think that shade 21 is going to be a lot lighter and just better match for me. So I ordered it. I can't wait to get here and try it out. But yeah, these are just some quick thoughts on this foundation. Now moving on to the brows, I'm gonna use these two here. These are both by Benefit. Today's look is going to be um, kind of dramatic. Like it's gonna be colorful, it's gonna be intense. It's gonna be like, whew. so I want my brows to be defined. I want them to be nice and sharp and fierce, fierce brows. Hmm, that sounds like something that I want to have on my face today. And with the Cabral shade number three, I'm gonna fill them in. <coughs> that was intense. All right, eyebrows are on. Now I find it really beautiful when the eyebrows are nice and defined under here. I'm gonna take some concealer now. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Concealer. I'm just gonna take a very small amount of it on the back of my hand. This is the shade Light and it's pretty light for me. This is one of the lightest concealers that I have. So I'm gonna take some of it on a flat brush and I'll use it to clean my brows. And because it's so light shade, it's going to highlight my brow bone. It's gonna make my eyebrows look more lifted. And I'm also bringing it down my eyelid all the way to the lash line. And this is also going to act as my eyeshadow primer. I'm just gonna use a puff to press it so that it's nice and even. You want your base to be as even as possible. Especially if you're going to use so colorful eyeshadows like we're going to be doing today. You guys know how excited I'm getting when I'm about to paint my eyelids with all kind of different and fun colors. So you can imagine how happy I'm feeling right now. I wish that the more like colorful, rainbowy, is there even a word? Rainbowy? Rainbowy? I don't know, but you get what I'm talking about. I wish that the more colorful, rainbowy, smoky eyes were more acceptable because that would be amazing. That would be so much fun. Imagine people on the street walking with bright orangey and yellowy and purpley and whatever color you have in your mind, smoky eyes. And everyone is kind of like, okay, this is something normal. Imagine brides asking their makeup artists for an intense electric green smoky eyes for their wedding. I mean, that would be so much fun. Everything would be so much happier. Why no one is considering that? Let's make the colorful smoky eyes more acceptable. Let's fight for that together. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna be doing something very colorful today. <laughs> I'm taking the Morphe 35B palette. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes that has more like colorful shades in it. I think that the eyeshadows are pigmented, they're blending out really nice. So um, I'm gonna start off with the white shade here. I'm just gonna take it on a fluffy brush and I'm gonna place it in my crease here so that I set that concealer in place and this way the transition color that I'm gonna add in a while will blend a lot easier. Okay, next I'm taking the yellow shade here on the same brush. This is going to be our first transition color. Switching to a smaller blending brush, this is the Morphe M506. I'm gonna take the orangey shade from the palette. And this is going again in my crease. I'm keeping it a little bit lower because after adding that orangey shade, I still wanna be able to see the yellow one. I don't wanna cover the yellow eyeshadow completely with the orangey one.
today building up the color in the crease is essential because you want to have as many I almost dropped my brush on the ground, but I save it. What I was saying? Because you want um, to have as many colors as possible so that you can make very nice fading effect. So today we're going to be using a ton of colors in the crease. <laughs> the more colors, the more interesting it's going to look. So next I'm going to mix these two colors here. As you can guess, this is going again in the crease, keeping it lower than that orangey shade that we applied and you know just building up the color so an easy way to understand what we are doing now is imagine that you have kind of like steps on your eyes i know that's a little bit weird but imagine that you have steps on your eyes the first step you want to paint it yellow then the second step you want to paint it orange the third one which we're doing right now you want to paint it pink and the fourth one is going to be purple which we're going to be doing in a while and you want those steps to be blending into each other but not covering one another that's how i have it in my mind i really hope you guys get what I'm talking about. So as I said, next step is the purple one. So I'm mixing these two purple shades here and this is going in my crease. Again, keeping it lower than the previous shades that we applied. And this is also kind of going on my eyelid area here, but that's okay. You just want to make sure that you're not bringing that very high. I'm also bringing that in the outer corner of my eyelid I added mostly dark purple shade in the outer corner now you can see what's coming up next I'm gonna take the really vibrant pink color on a flat brush and this is going in the inner half of my eye Okay, so here you can choose. You want to keep it all nice and matte and a little bit darker like this eye or you want to add some shimmers and make it look a little bit more bright. I decided to add some shimmers and just lighten up the look a little bit more. So if you decide to go with this kind of look, I'm going to tell you what's the receipt for this um, inner corner eyelid kind of gorgeousness. <laughs> so this is the flat brush that I used to apply that bright pink eyeshadow. So what I did is I wipe it off on a makeup wipe to kind of get rid of that um, pink eyeshadow. Then I took MAC Fix Plus, spray the brush, and I dip it in the Ofra Pillow Talk highlighter. Their highlighters are so intense, you can definitely use them as an eyeshadow. So I'm loading the brush with some of these. I'm gonna spray it one more time with that Fix Plus, and I'm placing that in the inner corner here. I'm adding most of the product in this area here and then dragging it towards the center of my eyelid and just blending it with the rest of the eyeshadows on the eyelid. For eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Schwing by the Bam. Adding some concealer under my eyes. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer. It's not giving you like full coverage. This is like medium coverage kind of concealer, but it's really lightweight. It's kind of moisturizing. So this is going under my eyes and I'm gonna blend it out. I'm using the puff that came with the Misha foundation to blend it out. I have some blemishes here. I wanna cover them up. I'm using a darker shade from the same concealer. Alright, so for lashes, I have these new pairs here by House of Lashes. I'm torn. I can't really decide which one I want to use. I'll go with this one here. I'm gonna bronze my face with the Hula Light by Benefit. And for highlighter, Too Faced Love Light Blinded by the Light. I need to find a brush for my highlighter. This one looks like it's gonna do the job. Mm -hmm. 
I like how dewy my skin looks. It's not just because of the highlighter, it's also because of that foundation. And I don't want to cover this um, nice and shiny skin right here under my eyes. But I still want to set with some powder my under eye area because the concealer is already setting into my fine lines. So I want to do something about that. But at the same time, I don't want to cover all of this area here with powder. So what I'm going to do is usually what I'm doing on my everyday basis or what I'm doing a no makeup makeup look. So I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I'm going to take a big eyeshadow blending brush. I'm going to smooth um, the area under my eyes and I'm going to apply that powder just in the area where I have some fine lines and where I find that the concealer is creasing. Oh, it was dangerous to be talking and doing that. <laughs> Right now I'm gonna take the tiniest amount of this baby pink color here and I'll smudge it along my lower lash line. Actually I'm gonna take also some of this purple shade here. I'm also adding some white pencil in my waterline. This is the Sigma um, Unclouded Inner Rim Brightener. And some of that over highlighter in the inner corners. Look, I don't usually curl my hair because my hair can't hold a curl. I ordered some new products for curl holding. <laughs> um, one of them is this one here. I'm trying it out today for the first time. Hopefully, it's gonna make a difference. My curls are all nice and straight after one hour after curling so you know it's a struggle because i like when my when my hair is nice and curly but uh, yeah anyway i'm gonna finish up the look with a lipstick by the bum it's called i'm a good kisser and lastly some setting spray this is the cover girl look lock up setting mist and this is the finished look guys i really hope you enjoyed watching this video i was first planning to do colorful but wearable i look but as you can tell the wearable part didn't happen. I just got excited. I saw that eyeshadow palette full with fun colors and inside I was like, okay, let's get crazy with these colors. No, but seriously, I was planning on doing a look similar to this one. In fact, I did a kind of like a trial a couple of weeks ago. I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna show it to you. So this is the look that I tried to do. It's with the same eyeshadow palette. I did this really late at night. I just felt like playing with eyeshadows. It's a little bit different than what happened today, but it's also really similar and to be honest with you i kind of like today's version more anyways now i have two questions for you guys the first one is do you want me to do something more colorful but wearable like an eye look that is going to have some colors but at the same time it's going to be like wearable kind of like a colorful everyday kind of look I don't know let me know if you want to see something like that second question if any of you guys have an all-time favorite can't live without hairspray slash curl holder holding spray for the hair let me know down in the comments i'm looking for something good something extremely strong okay anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video maybe you learned something new that's gonna be awesome if you enjoyed watching please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also don't forget to press the bell button next to the subscribe button because that way you're gonna be notified whenever i post a new video you can also follow me on my instagram facebook or twitter all of the links will be down in the description box i want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye